What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today we are talking about the new trader role that will be coming once that summer update drops. Yesterday we did do a video talking about the bounty hunter, we went through everything new, a bit of speculation about Red Harlow, but today we are looking at the new trader role. To start going down the trader role, what you need to do is go and head over to Cribs, which can be located at your camp. Your camp can actually be set in a bunch of different locations within Red Dead, and it's up to you to go and pick the one that's going to be the most efficient. I did do a video previous to this where I showed the three locations that I'm thinking about setting up my camp just because they are very, very good places to go off and do a bit of hunting. There are some locations that are just not as good as the locations that I have picked in that video, but you can go and check that out if you want. To go and start the trader role, what you need to do is go and put 15 gold bars up front to go and buy the new butcher's table for your camp. But there is a way around it. If you are a PlayStation 4 user, you can go and get this for free. This one is slightly irritating for me because I am an Xbox One player and I am wanting to go down the trader role more than anything else. I feel like the requirements for the bounty hunter and also the collector are a lot easier to do to go and get for free compared to the trader which is PlayStation 4. But I kind of get exclusive content, PlayStation guy, Xbox didn't and that's just how it is so I'm dealing with it I'm gonna to have to pay 15 gold bars for that but the other two I will be able to go to get for free once you are up and running and you have got that new butcher's table for the camp you can now start bringing in animal parts to cribs the better quality those animal parts are so if you can get them perfect they will be going for a lot more money than if you got some pelts that are in poor quality another thing you can do with this trader role is that you can do resupply missions now how this camp is laying out and how it sounds in my head it is very similar to the bunker series that we have going on within GTA that is where you can go and get some supplies by going to steal it or you can just go and buy those supplies with this you're able to go and hunt or you have to go and do a mission to go and collect some supplies before you can then turn those supplies into sellable goods and then go and sell them on likewise when it comes to deliveries and actually getting paid you can choose to do a low risk local delivery or you can travel a lot longer a lot further across the Red Dead world to go and get more money. Yet again, that is entirely up to you as the player. And I imagine when it says low risk local deliveries, it also makes me think that this will then become an event which then goes out to the free roam where other players can then go and attack you and destroy your wagon as you are delivering those sellable goods. The biggest selling point for me with the trade roll when it was first announced, we first started getting some information. It says that you could go and get a wagon, a hunting wagon, but that is not just the only wagon you can go and get. You can also now go and get a delivery wagon which I think is very cool and you can upgrade both of these independently. So if you want you can go and upgrade the hunting wagon which will then go and bring more goods and be able to have more space in the wagon to then go and bring more goods to the camp or you can go and upgrade the delivery wagon which means you can start stacking up those sellable goods and then once you go and sell them you can put more stuff in the back of that wagon which means you'll get more money once you go and do a delivery. Another thing that I do want to highlight, I did highlight on Twitter, is that with these wagons, it seems like there is only one horse so far. You can go and get a medium or large wagon, and looking at these pictures, it's hard to tell which one's which. It could very well be the large wagon, it could very well be the medium wagon. But with this, I still feel like you have to go and supply your own horse. The reason I think this is because with this update as well, Rockstar have given us more stable slots to go and buy more horses. Now yet again, that is still not guaranteed, but that that is what I'm thinking and that is why I did end up buying that horse ages and ages ago just to be prepared. With this it now makes me think that this is going to happen more likely than it's not but it's up to you guys whether or not you want to go and invest in a new horse. As you start to upgrade and progress with your camp and improve your rank as a trader, competition may become jealous and attack you. There doesn't seem to be a way to avoid it from what I can read, it's just a way to go and prepare for it. So you can go and buy a canine companion and once you get the trader to a efficient rank, you can then start upgrading that dog, which will then warn you off impending attacks. There is also a part a bit later where you can go and upgrade your skills and other items where you can go and get protection. Yet again, it still doesn't sound like you can stop an impending attack, but what you can do is just have a bit more of a warning and a bit more help. So there's less likely for there to be an attack on your camp. For progressing through the trader, you can get a bunch of different skills and items, which include a stew pot, you can get an ingredient sack, 
actual upgrade, you can get awareness, which is identify rival trader wagons at an increased range. You can then get a canine warning, which is to go and train your dog to warn off thieves raiding your camp. You can get a medium and large delivery wagons. You can get a weapons locker. You can get a lance knife. You can get efficiency, which is learn to increase the amount of usable materials from perfect carcasses. You can get a material satchel upgrade. You get a hunting wagon. This one, it doesn't actually say whether or not you can get it in medium or large. I would assume that you could, but maybe it might just be a one-off purchase. And then finally, you have protection, which is reduce the chance of raids at your camp. So with the trailer, there is a lot there, just like there is a lot there for the bounty hunter as well. For me, I feel like the trader is still the one that I'm going to be heading down for fun. I will be going through each and every one of these roles, trying to find everything, and hopefully I can go and get to the highest possible rank and unlock just every single little thing within each role. But the trader is the one that I think I will get done first, because it is probably going to be the one that I will just play for fun. But anyway guys, leave all your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of the trader? Is this what you was looking for, or was you expecting a bit more? Bear in mind that this still isn't all the information that we've got to do with the summer update. There's going to be some stuff that we will not find out until the final day, the day which this massive summer update will be dropping. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.